So this is what you see of my bedroom from the doorway and kind of my little mini hallway. And to the right is my bathroom, which I've already done a video on. Obviously the largest thing in the room is my bed and the bedding is just plain white bedding. I really like it. It's very just like crisp and clean and simple. And the headboard I got from, it was made by Ashley Furniture, but I got it from Colders. What I really liked about this bed was the headboard because it's very like low profile and kind of just a simple sort of contemporary look to it. It is a platform bed. You can't exactly tell because my comforter is kind of covering it, but I do like that as well, that the kind of gray color wraps all the way around on the bottom. Then above my bed is that painting right there, and I actually made that myself. Um, I bought the frame from a thrift store, and then I made that painting with spray paint, actually. So it's got some kind of like gold threading running through it, and it's kind of like a light blue and white ombre. As for my nightstands, these were actually something that my parents picked up off the curb. Somebody was throwing them out, and my mom refinished them because she's really good with refinishing furniture and kind of transforming it. So I think they look really cool. They're kind of like a mix of a very contemporary and very retro sort of silhouette, which I really like. And again, I kind of prefer more like low profile furniture. So I love them. I think that they're very cool. So on this nightstand, I just have a jasmine candle, a little blue jewelry box that I got from my mom. And I'm not sure where she got it from, but I know it's been passed down a few times. And then this really cool kind of glam looking um, lamp which the base and the shade were sold separately, but they both came from Target. And then my other nightstand obviously is just a matching one. And on top of this one, I have this kind of sea glass looking textured lamp and shade, which again, both came from Target. And you might remember them if you saw my home haul a few months back. Um, a lot of these things should look familiar if you saw that home decor haul and my thrifted decor haul. A lot of these things are in both of those. Um, and then on the side, I just have this like mirrored box, which again was in the thrifted decor haul, and that just holds some kind of like guitar little accessory things. And on top, I just have one of my pairs of glasses. And then over next to that is my little air plant art that I made, and this was actually my previous video, so there'll be a link to this at the end. Down below that, I just have a fan on the floor, and over on this wall is where my closet is, so I just have some big mirrored closet doors. I don't really want to go too in-depth of my closet because that could be a really whole separate video, and if you want to see it, then I will do that. But I have all of my hanging clothing on the left side. On the top, I have my towels, um, cardigans, and sweatshirts. And then on the bottom, I have my laundry basket and my hair and makeup drawers. If you saw my bathroom tour, you will know that there's like pretty much no storage. I just have a medicine cabinet. So I do have to use these to keep all of my hair and makeup stuff in because I don't have anywhere else to put them. And that's also why my towels are in here as well. Then the right side of my closet just has my jackets, my belt. I have a jewelry organizer, which is largely empty because I now have a lot of my jewelry out on my dresser. And then I have a hanging shoe organizer. At the bottom, I just have more shoes. I thought about getting shoe shelves, but honestly, what I have right now fits really well, so I'm okay with this. And I might get shoe shelves in the future, but this is working okay for now. Over in the very corner, I do have a heated mattress pad and a collapsible duffel bag tucked back there. And then on the top, I have just a couple more folded things. So those are the same sweatshirts that you saw before. And then I have light scarves, winter scarves, a little stack of beanies and hats, and then I have a bigger kind of floppy hat over in the corner. And the very last thing, which is absolutely my favorite thing in my whole bedroom, well maybe, I really really like my bed, it's very comfortable. Getting a memory foam bed was definitely like a very intelligent decision. <laughs> um, but I just love this area, I love how it looks. And this dresser is another piece that was um, purchased secondhand by my parents and my mom refinished it so it's a beautiful match to the nightstands I love the kind of deep red like cherry color and I love the lines of this as well because again it's a little bit contemporary but it's also kind of retro and it even has the same kind of slim tapered legs so I just think that it goes really well with those nightstands so over on this side I have a tarnished silver serving tray that I found secondhand and I just have my perfumes on there and then next to it, I have this really adorable antique cheese grater that I found off of Etsy. 
and I have my stud earrings in there. Hanging above everything are these awesome faux antlers that I found off Etsy as well. I will try to remember to link the shop down below. Um, they come in all different kinds of colors and they come in a distressed and a regular finish. So I got them in the white distressed finish. I think it's really cute. And then over on this side, I have a little mirror. This was also secondhand and it was gold when I found it. So I did kind of like a light whitewash paint job to it so that it would look a little similar to the antlers, but it has some gold peeking through instead of some gray. And for these little trays, I have this bird one that I got from Forever 21 and that holds my silver rings. I have this little crystal one with gold tiny accents around the rim and that holds my gold and rose gold rings and then i have just a little crystal bowl in the back that holds my gold watch my rose gold watch and underneath are just a couple of dainty gold necklaces that i wear frequently with my gold watch and the final item is this tiny gold piano which is super adorable that was also in the thrifted decor haul this piece is actually a jewelry box as well I just think it's very adorable and whimsical and I haven't really figured out what I would want to put in it yet, um, but I do really like it. I just think it's very fun and I got it for such a great price because it was secondhand. That was my whole room. It's not particularly large and if you saw my old room tour from the place I was renting in college, that room was absolutely gigantic and it looked really different to this. So it's a very much of a change of pace for me to this room. But I do really like it. I tried to keep everything very kind of simple and clean with some sort of like vintage looking touches and I really like it. So I would love to know if you had something that you thought was your favorite in the whole room. I'd love to know what that is. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye everyone.